Before going to the live server, we have to check if our project is ready to be deployed on live server. We have to fix issues our friends ask to be resolved before going to the cPanel stage. Let's start from back end of our blog. My friend asked me how to display remove button on each tag name for this tag's input field. To solve this problem, we have to include font awesome on our pages layout blade file. Just go to Google and search font awesome version 4.7. Amsify Sugs tags jQuery plugin we had used, is compatible with only with font awesome version 4.7. Just go to this official website of Font Awesome. We have to download Font Awesome 4 version files. So, we have to add this font awesome folder inside our blog project public folder. After that, we need to include font awesome to backend pages layout blade file. I highly recommend to use CDN links on production stage. After make changes to this file, remember to save the file. As you can see, remove button displayed on tag name. You can use this icon to remove unwanted tag. The next thing we have to fix, is to create Laravel components that will help us to prevent repeated code to our pages. Let's create component that will display this categories list. As you can see, component class file has been created. And also, component blade file created. We are going to replace whole this categories list into component. And paste inside this component and save the file. To include component on blade file is very simple. Just use the syntax.
As you can see, categories list still displayed. Let's duplicate this component to show you the proof. As you can see, categories list displayed twice. You can use the syntax to include component on blade. You can also use this way. As you can see, it still works. So, we need to replace old categories listing way with this component on each page. Good. Our categories list component works well on each page. Let's apply the same technique on this tags list. As you can see, tags list from component displayed perfectly on each page. Friends, everything is ready on our Laravel blog project. We are going to export database SQL file and compress our project. Let's now export database data.sql file. For easy access, let's move this database file to desktop. Run PHP artisan optimize command in terminal.
and delete this storage folder in public folder. So, it's the time to compress our project to zip file. and move this compressed file to desktop. Friends, we have now our zip project and database.sql file. Next video, we will go to the hosting stage.